Joining us now on the MegaCast are two individuals from Oakland Schools for a bi-weekly Oakland Schools Education Insider. This week, we're all focused up on early childhood education. On the program with us this week is Dr. Krista Shamblo, the early childhood consultant at Oakland Schools, as well as Amber McCurtis, a great, a great start readiness program parent through Oakland Schools. Thank you both for being with us today. Thanks for Thank having you, Tyler. Us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, glad to have you both on to talk about this. Uh, 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 Chris, let's start with you. We know that early uh, education, early childhood education is a really important phase uh, to go through for these kids. It can have an immense impact on the rest of their education and on their outcomes after their education is complete. So let's talk about some of the resources and the programs that are available through Oakland schools right here in Oakland County that really help to drive home that success in early childhood education. Yeah, I'm happy to share. So we have our Great Start Collaborative, our GSC for Oakland County, and that's our early childhood systems building body. And one of the programs that they offer to help all Oakland County families succeed is called Help Me Grow. And it's really like the one-stop shop for families. It connects families to all types of early childhood services in Oakland County. We have real people. We have Help Me Grow coordinators who are available to help families, and they do this through email, through chat, text, phone. The phone number is 844-456-5437. And they do things like linking families to important resources, to um, offering parenting support, answering questions. They help families with early childhood programming, so locating a preschool to enroll in. And then they also uh, coordinate what's very important in our county, our, our developmental screenings. And I just wanna say a little bit about those screenings. Um, so there's a free screen Screening tool for Oakland County families called Ages and Stages Questionnaire. It's our ASQ, and it's relatively a quick screening tool that looks at various areas of child development and it asks parents to answer questions about just some things that their child at that age can do. And it's private. Parents receive their child's results, um, and then based on those results, our care coordinators can assist with matching early childhood services. Most often, children are meeting their milestones, but if a potential concern arises, the care coordinator will talk to the family about a referral to a program that may provide support to them. So an example of one of those programs is our Early On, which is a program for infants and toddlers, our younger children, with uh, developmental delays or conditions that are likely to lead to a delay. Um, the Early On tagline that we use is, don't worry, but don't wait. So you can get a free developmental assessment, and if your child qualifies, you can get uh, free early intervention services as well. And then one more program I wanna mention is that we also have the Great Start Readiness Program, our GSRP, which I'm directly a part of, and that is our Michigan state-funded preschool program for four-year-old children. And, and, and Amber, uh, your daughter wa was uh, part of the Great Start Readiness Program last year. Uh, how have you and your family ultimately benefited from participating in that program through Oakland Schools? Yeah, I, I love what Krista just said. Don't worry, but don't wait. Um, <laughs> that was me. I was the parent that was um, noticing some challenges in my daughter, and I seen Oakland Schools at an event in my community, and they told me about the ASQ, and I went online and filled it out, and they did everything for me. They kind of reached out to me and were able to place her in a program. She was able to get support services um, at, a, at a preschool program in my community. They were able to give her bus rides um, to and from school. It was just an awesome opportunity to watch her become, you know, more in independent. You know, as a parent, you're kind of, sometimes you're doing stuff for them, <laughs> but um, trans translating those responsibilities, you know, from home to school and watching her little routine, um, you know, kind of connect those dots together. It was just, it was just amazing to watch her grow. She got friends, you know, in preschool, in preschool, um, in the program, although she has siblings and she has that social, it's different when they have social skills with people their own age, you know? So it was just amazing to watch her engage and create those bonds and um, just kind of boost her confidence. You know, she had some speech challenges and they offered her speech therapy at her program. And just now that she's moved on to kindergarten, I'm just watching her blossom and grow. It's just been amazing. It's been, it's been worth it. 
<laughs> in terms of that partnership between parent and school, or, or parent in this case, the intermediate school district, what, what are, are those factors that you really value as a parent from this program and that collaboration between your school, your daughter, and of course, Oakland schools? Yeah, it, the, the program really gave me an opportunity to get involved um, at the school level. I was able to volunteer. There were opportunities um, for us to do activities at home that translated to school and home. So we had something called kind hours where it was just prompts to help you, you know, work on different skills at home with, with her. So that was great. Um, just getting involved in the community, it kind of snowballed into this whole advocacy that I have now for for early childhood development because, like I said, I have two older kids and I didn't know that this type of program was available to a working parent um, as myself. And it was just, it's nice to be in touch with the community and have that voice in those spaces, you know, to be able to have ideas and, you know, be in those different spaces where parent voices are needed and they're important. And Dr. Shamblo, uh, it's that time of the year where we're starting to think about the end of this school year, but it's also a really good time to start thinking about next year, especially for those parents that have young children that are right about that preschool age or even going into that formal K through 12 education beginning next fall. So what considerations should parents be making at this time as they're preparing their kids for next fall? Yeah, it's an exciting time. Uh, what parents can do now to help prepare their child for next school year is really to maintain those family routines. So parents can think about some key times in the day and what that looks like in the spring and summer and create a plan with a sequence of a few steps around that time of day. For example, bedtime, right? It might be first we take a bath, then we brush our teeth. So explaining to children what comes first, second, third during that routine and what that looks like. And when parents establish those family routines, whether it be bedtime, meal time, it helps children understand what's coming next. And it's important because it makes our lives more predictable and then children feel safe and secure. So we know that schools are worlds of routine and it's much easier to learn a set of routines at school when children have learned at least one set of routine at home. Um, and then another thing that parents can do now is to think about their day, think about those established routines and just build in some tiny but powerful moments of connection. Um, so it doesn't take a whole lot, just these simple moments. Um, so for example, in the morning, uh, by looking out the window and talking together about what they're seeing, or maybe a connection might be during the meal time by having a back and forth meaningful conversation, or just playing a little bit together before bath, or maybe during bath singing a song. So it doesn't have to be all those things, but just a few during a during a day. And those powerful moments, they count. Um, it's really about being responsive as a parent. So this requires parents to pause, to remain present, to notice you know, how they are in the moment, to notice their child, and then, um, and then to connect. And we know that when parents are responsive in that way, it supports child development, including brain development, and it also leads to having a caring and nurturing relationship between the child and the parent. So those are kind of like the three R's, routines, responsiveness, and relationship. And so I just wanna, um, you know, have a little plug in for our GSRP program. So in what, in terms of what families can do now who are considering preschool for the fall, um, to call our number 844-456-5437 and fill out an application. Uh, this is for our GSRP program, our preschool program. We have over 200 classrooms throughout Oakland County. Um, this provides very high quality preschool. We have wonderful teachers, highly qualified, responsive teachers, and this program is at low or no cost to families. And what's exciting is next year, we expect to have even more classrooms. Um, there may be a higher income threshold. And because we don't know yet uh, the eligibility for next year, we are just recommending all families to call that number, fill out an application now um, if they will have a child who will be four by September 1st. Again, that phone number 844-456-5437, 844-456-5437. You can also find that number and more information and other ways to get in contact 
with Oakland schools about these programs at greatstartoakland.org. Uh, Amber, uh, having gone through this experience as a parent and having your daughter having gone through uh, the Great Start Readiness Program, what advice do you do you have or insight do you have for parents that are preparing to go through this process of either getting their kid into one of these Oakland schools early education programs or as they're going through that program next school year? Yeah, I think um, for me, the ASQ was the, the stepping stone for me. Um, even if you don't notice anything in your child, just a good gauge of what skills they are thriving in and what skills they may need a little bit more support in. So I would say that's the first stepping stone um, and then calling that number. The, the great start is that plug that connects you to any resources that you may need. You can call or text the number. If you go to the website, you can even chat with somebody. Um, I still use it to this day uh, <laughs> because sometimes as a parent, you just have a question. So I would say first step, get that ASQ done um, just to see where your, 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 your little person is at and then um, go to the website and, and see if the ladies over there, the care coordinators can connect you to some resources or if you just got a question. That website is greatstartoakland.org. Uh, Dr. Shamble, I've got one minute left uh, on today's program. Oakland Schools is celebrating the month of the young child in a variety of different ways. What are they doing in, in, uh, uniquely to highlight early childhood education during this month? Sure, so we have our Learning Through Play series. It's a set of uh, stories about how play is uh, so important to children's learning. Um, in the last decade, we've learned a great deal about how children learn and develop, and research shows that play is a key way that children discover, build, and it reinforces knowledge about their world. So um, these are stories from our GSRP teachers, and they're just 90-second glimpses into what a GSRP program looks like and how powerful play is for children's learning. And I think um, we are launching those weekly um, through Oakland Schools uh, Facebook. Dr. Krista Shamblo from the Early Childhood Education Program at Oakland Schools, our early childhood consultant, and Amber Curtis, a parent in the Great Start Readiness Program this school year, joining us on the Oakland Schools Education Insider on the MAGACast today. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you so much.